I was so excited for the DLC, Burning Shores, the continuation of Forbidden West, and I have to be honest, I am hugely disappointed. Oh, this one really stings. I have 114 hours in Forbidden West. Absolutely loved the game and the world. I spent countless hours exploring post-game the environment, every nook and cranny. I loved that world and the detail. I could just live in it. There were times that I would just swim or explore or just load it up just to look at it because I loved every part of that game. And when Burning Shores was announced, I was so excited. I couldn't wait for more of this world and more exploration, a new area to explore, new environments, new mechanics, something couldn't wait. And I've played a few hours of this enough of it to get a sense of what it is and more importantly what it isn't i want to start off with the idea that i understand that this is dlc this isn't a new game this isn't a sequel or part three to the horizon franchise where you would expect new things new mechanics i get that and I get that critique of my opinion here that some of you may have. But let me try and explain what I'm talking about. So when I played Horizon Zero Dawn, absolutely loved the game graphically. One of the best games that I've seen in that generation. And then Forbidden West came and changed a lot of the mechanics of the game. And it left some things behind that were bad. It didn't improve on some things like the melee combat. A lot of people complained about that, myself included, but what it did do is introduced the flying mechanic, which added to the exploration, added to the gameplay. You could literally traverse the entire map in the air. It was something new in a sequel. Now, this DLC is a sort of second part to Forbidden West. It's a huge area, a new area to explore, and I think that's great. The issue I have is that it is just a prettier version of Forbidden West. And if their idea was to put the work into making this DLC a better version in terms of the way that it looks compared to Forbidden West, I would have liked them to put more effort into changing the mechanics, tightening up some of the issues, because a lot of the issues that I and many people had with Zero Dawn and Forbidden West are highlighted even more here in this DLC, and that's the issue that I have. And that's what's so heartbreaking for me as someone, again, with 114 hours in Forbidden West, dying to play this, so excited. It is my most disappointing gaming moment so far this new generation. Let me give you one example. Melee combat is still flat out awful. I don't care if you're the biggest Horizon fan on the planet anybody telling anybody else that the melee combat in this game is even remotely good is simply lying and here's where going from zero dawn to forbidden west and then this dlc they could have focused in on tightening up some of those core mechanics in the series so far but instead it was this ps5 only DLC, which set up all of these huge expectations when it came to graphics. And this is another area where, again, I'm going to be honest, it already looked incredible as a game built for the PlayStation 4 on the PlayStation 5. This is Forbidden West here and Burning Shores. Does it look better? Yes. Is it PS5 specific, PS5 only better? I don't think so. I mean, you can fly 800 meters in the sky as opposed to 400 meters, and now you can fly through clouds, which is great, 
and there's less pop in, but I don't think it's this huge difference and the hyper focus in on the PS5 specific DLC really set up those expectations that I don't think were met. And that's where I feel like if they were gonna pay so much attention to graphics and not really tune up the gameplay, it was a missed opportunity. And that gameplay and the problems throughout the series so far are again really highlighted here in the DLC. Let me give you an example. So early on, you go on this mission where you have to essentially shut down two locks with your companion. And you're sort of funneled into this canyon where you're fighting these machines that are essentially big frogs that hop around. Now there's nowhere to go in that canyon. And again, the melee is bad. And if you happen to get hit by anything or one of those machines, Aloy takes, again, about a year to get up. And sometimes the camera is all over the place if the machines jump on top of you. There is so much highlighted that shouldn't be in terms of what's wrong with the gameplay and the things that they could have, should have, maybe would have in the future fixed but should have done with this DLC. And I say that because they focused in on so much in terms of story and Again, the graphics, which in my opinion are amazing. I'm not trying to short them or short sell them. They are absolutely incredible, best on any system out there right now. But it is not that night and day difference compared to Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5. It just isn't. Even though this is DLC, I think they should have focused in on tightening up the things that the series has gotten wrong since its inception. Melee, combat, and just tying in the world and the gameplay in a much more holistic and better way. And it is highlighted so strongly in this DLC because it is hyper-focused in on looking fantastic and it just is let down by not putting that same energy into tightening up those gameplay issues that I and many other people have had with this series since the inception. Great looking game, one of the best, probably the best so far this generation. I'm saying that all the time when it comes to Sony first party, but this is the biggest disappointment for me so far this generation. I was so looking forward to this, but the issues are so glaring when you compare it to what they actually put all their time into and that's how great the game looks. Let me know what you think if you're playing the DLC. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Do you agree that they should have tightened up all of those issues like the melee combat and maybe added more to the actual gameplay as opposed to just citing the graphics and really pushing this idea that we were gonna get this PS5 only DLC that was gonna be night and day difference between what we got in Forbidden West. And I just don't think it is. It's a great looking game, better looking than Forbidden West, but I would have liked to see more effort put forth in tightening up gameplay. It's not about making things prettier anymore. There has to be more to it. And I feel like the core mechanics of this game aren't enough to carry it anymore. They need to evolve. Thanks for watching the video. Think about liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.